I know I've been gone for a while. Okay, let me explain. I was banned again. But here's the thing. I have a new custom for you guys. You should also subscribe to my ult because uh, that's the only channel I'm on now. Yes, that's right. I'm quitting this channel to start my group channel with my friends. So this is the last video you will ever see from me probably. Or probably the last two. But yes, we have made a Byakuga custom. Byakuga from Bleach. So now, if you didn't know... Like, 30 days ago, only I never watched Bleach. Now I'm in love with the show. But here's the thing. Byakuga is the most... He, like, at the start of the show, I hated him so much. The only reason I like his character till this day is because of how loyal he is to the Soul Society and how, like, powerful he is. Because this man is insanely powerful. And there's no actual reason why. Like, I don't know how hard this man trains, but he's like insanely powerful to insane amounts that make freaking. He he trains. He has to train so hard it makes Goku look. It makes how much Goku trains look like better. Now I'm not saying he can beat Goku. I'm not saying that. So we're using this pink thing to kind of replace Zenbone Zenbone Zakura. We're using this thing because I don't know how else I would replace Zenbone Zakura. I'm gonna be honest. There's no other real way to replace Zenbone Zakura. All right. Because there's no there's no scatter move unless you count scatter Kamehameha. Now, if there's a scatter move that moves by itself, yeah, then it would be an easy way to replace Ten Bone Zakura, but there isn't, so there's no real way to replace Ten Bone Zakura. Alright, we won that battle, so now we have to go to the next battle. So the reason why I'm not playing online, like I do on my other channel with fighters a lot, on my ult account, uh, is because I don't have my PlayStation Plus. Like... A 30-day ban that allowed my PlayStation Plus to just expire. But uh, I will be getting it. I don't even know when. Like, I honestly do not know when. I don't I don't even know if I'm getting it back. I may just switch to my old account permanently. But I have way too much data on this account. So I'm probably not going to switch. I'm just going to switch for, like, a temporary amount. Like... Maybe like a few, maybe even a year actually. I may just switch for a year. Casually just take a year break from my regular. So I never have to play Xenoverse in my life again. Alright. Bring that back over there bring this over here and that's why I like that move so much it's like Sen Bone Zakura but like there's only two waves coming at you but yeah I don't really look I wish like there was a sword transformation if there was I would make it so easier but I know what I'm gonna do if I make a Naruto custom I just need to use Kaioken to make and I can uh and I can act like times twenty is like the eight tails transformation. You know like those red transformations he d does through the tails and the more and more he does them the more and more he gets closer to releasing Kumara. And once he releases the nine tail one I'm pretty sure he fully releases Kumara. He had those before he teamed up with Kumara. I'm pretty sure he can still access those. But he just, they're just like weak. Comp like compared to stage mode and, I mean not stage mode, but like Nine Tails Kumara Link mode. Basically, I just call it a ripoff Super Saiyan even though I know it's not, that's not its intent. Alright. Gotta do this. Come on. <laughs> and it's like I'm 
And it's like, if you can start up multiple of the clocks at the same exact time, that would be so good. Because it would just be like, I'm setting up, like, a bunch of ten bone Zakros are just coming at him at once. I may just get a mod, just to, I may just get a mod that has ten bone Zakra make the custom and then do a video mod showcase. This is not like I can't do that. It's sad that I lost my plus subscription because I can't really do anything without it. Come on. Shoot a gallet gun. You should have shot a gallet gun. Come on. You're gonna get up now. Come on. You're gonna get up now. Crap. Come on. Crap. It was too late. I'll just add up a mini sand bone Zakura. That should hit him about. No, the sand bone Zakura missed. And you just wasted a sand bone Zakura. Alright. He's just gonna keep on rushing with the key blast. I just do a ten bones Zakura, Jesus. No, I'll just do that. When I do spirit sword, I just act like he formed like a giant sword thing through his ten bones Zakura, but we're just gonna keep on facing Vegeta. Cause I mean, why not? I'm gonna face Vegeta one more time, and then that's it. Then, then I'm just, then that's just gonna be the last footage you have of me on this channel. Uh, if you want more, I'll put my low carbine idiot channel link in the description. I don't make Xenoverse content on there. I just make fighters content. Cause like Xenoverse is tiring me out, and I just, I just wanna have fun on this account. I don't wanna record anymore. Like recording was fun at first, but recording Xenoverse just feels tedious now. It feels like something that's not fun. Xenoverse generally lost its fun for me for from a long time ago. But I, uh, Vegeta got hit by the mini Senbone Zakura. Mm. Hey, it's me, Goku. Yeah, but you know, maybe we'll return to this channel one day. Maybe I unlink it, then somehow I remember all of this, like the stuff, the data, not the data, the password and stuff. So then I may be able to essentially play on it one day. But until then, this may be the end. I edit better on that account anyways, and plus. Like I said, I'm generally getting burnout of Xenoverse. I don't want to play it anymore. The bots just spam grab, and the players are worse. The players just do the most. And then it's like, there's no matter. Fighters, at least, even though you just have to, you essentially just sit in the back and block half of the time. At least, like, 
at least like fighters is semi fair. Xenoverse, like one combo and you're done for. Fighters, you have to have to actually get a level seven. There's OP super schools in Xenoverse that don't allow you to get a level seven. You can't charge up in fighters. You get a quick charge up in Xenoverse, and all you have to do is keep your key, then stamina break the person, and then and if there's no limit burst on, then you win. That's the only meta to Xenoverse. And don't try to disclaim it either. It's the truth. That's the only... That's the single-handedly only meta in Xenoverse. Nothing else is used in Xenoverse. Nothing else but that. And it honestly don't. That nothing else but that is used in Xenoverse. Like, if, yeah, maybe if they remove, maybe if they remove stamina breaks. No, but that would be too influential for the meta. But maybe if, like, they do something where, like, you can only take a certain amount of health off during a stamina break, like a bar of health, that makes the meta a little bit more fair. Because if you can only take off a bar of health, then the meta is extremely more fair. It's exponentially, immediately, a lot more fair. Like, it immediately becomes ten times more fair. Crap. And then fighters, you can argue... Oh, the combos take a lot of spam, so? Xenoverse, at least you can actually get out of the combos. Xenoverse, once you're being spammed by something, once you're being spammed by a certain move, there's no getting out. Once you're getting spam grab, once somebody continuously uses an energy wave where your stamina's broken, there's no getting out. Like, there's actually no getting out. Alright, guys. Hope you like and subscribe. Comment down below if you want to, like, actually want me to continue this channel. Because I'm honestly done. But alright, bye, guys.